Hey there, Pisces. Welcome to Zen Tarot. My name's Julie. I'm going to do a Zodiac Energy reading for you, Pisces, for the week of September 12th. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. And if you'd like a personal reading from me, my email address is in the description box below. Let's get you a Moon Oracle card for Pisces. What's going on for Pisces? that full moon in Pisces tomorrow the 10th today's the 9th so you're very close to achieving your goal prosperity lies ahead and a personal issue reaches resolution so look we've got the full moon in Cancer very close to the full moon in Pisces we've got the gibbous moon gibbous moon I guess um, but it looks like a full moon to me there again is a sign for this full moon energy is going to really um be big for you very very big for you but prosperity lies ahead the new moon in Taurus so there's that new beginning in prosperity for you I love this I love this a new beginning in prosperity what do you need to release love that Pisces what do you need to release to get this personal issue resolved and prosperity in oh my almost threw that all right, what kind of spirit animal is walking with Pisces? What kind of spirit animal? Oh my God, the golden egg. That is beautiful. And the earthworm. Look at this. So the golden egg, you're just really holding on to the spiritual information. You're about to crack wide open, but you're really learning. You're learning the spiritual information and the same exact energy with the earthworm. It's very slow moving energy, but you're gathering these bits of information along the way. You're gathering really a lot of bits of information about spirituality along the way, and you're holding it. You're letting it grow within you. You're letting it um, really simmer and uh, grow, grow bigger, grow stronger. It's beautiful. What's at the bottom? The tiger. Look at how focused you are, how fiery you are. That is absolutely beautiful. And then we've got the moon here too. So it's just something about the moon. It's going to really change some things for you here. Maybe it's going to allow you to release some things here, Pisces. What is up in the ether? What does Pisces not see coming, spirit? What does Pisces not see coming? What kind of surprises in store for Pisces? nine of air and the page of earth the nine of swords and the page of pentacles wow very very interesting and no a more slow slow moving energy here but uh, i think you're releasing some sorrow here some emotion here i don't think you think you're going to be able to <laughs> i think you think you're going to hold on to this and it's it's always going to be this way. I'm never going to change. I'm never going to be able to make it. I'm not, it's never going to work. And then here's this slow moving energy. Bam, your wish is coming true now. The spirit is granting you this now. They're giving you what you've worked so hard for, what has been building momentum behind you for. Very, very interesting. I love this. And eight of earth. See, something you've worked very, very hard for. Now the the money's coming in is you've got your own little money tree here from your own inspired action from your own inspired creation here it is actually uh, bringing you in money now you're going to see a lot of uh freedom when it comes to money here beautiful beautiful love that send it my way pisces send it my way we're going to pull three rows here we're going to do your head space your heart space and the foundation or the reason for the reading and then we'll pull some clarification cards on some energy coming in at you. What are you thinking about? What's on your mind, Pisces? Oh, there's that sorrow that always comes through for you. I'm so um, anxious for this to leave your mind space here, for you to be able to forget about things that have happened in your past and really letting it go. But right now you're not seeming to be able to do that you're thinking back at what happened you're thinking back at how far you've come but it's just not where you thought it was going to be there was just this difference this kind of disconnect in where you thought you were going to be at this time and you're just mourning that you're mourning what could have been here you're mourning um yeah what you thought it would be here so that's interesting I, I think it is time to release that though process it and release it so you're not just sitting in this energy here Pisces no one can for too long so you're gonna let it go you're gonna heal that heart of yours but um, just let go of the expectations let go of the what could have been because it's really only torturing your mind here and let's start moving more into the possibilities of what could be obviously prosperity could be but what could be let's start thinking about what could be here and so that's 
that's just a, a little shift, a thought, a, a change of thought here. What else? What else is on your mind here? What else is on Pisces' mind? The Page of Pentacles. Independence with the Pentacles. Again, money is really not going to be a problem for you. So that is just absolutely beautiful. And I think you're really uh, going to dissolve this kind of torturous thought here of what has happened or, or the mourning of what could have been here. I think you're just going to let that go. I really, really do to find this independence in yourself, to find this happiness in yourself. And because I say that, because look at all the storminess behind her, all the mountains behind her that she had to climb to gain this independence, to gain this strength. So yeah, it was a battle. It was a climb for you. It was really, really hard, but um, you've done it. So just stop thinking about what could have been or how it should have been because 10 of cups is on your mind. You want happiness now. You want joy now. You want peace now. You don't want to be sitting in this energy anymore. So that is absolutely beautiful. That's what's coming for you. You're letting go of the angst. You're letting go of the uh, anxiety about how it should have been. And now you're coming into a greater understanding of what could be and the possibilities that could be ahead for you. Look at this with partnership, two of cups coming into your mind space as well. So that's beautiful. You are accepting, you're merging the energies, you're merging the, the uh, light and the dark here, the good and the bad of relationships, the, uh, the uh, angst of it, of the relationship and the joy of the relationship. You're merging those two energies together. So that's absolutely beautiful. And um, have to let me know how that goes because yeah, it's time for you to be happy. It's time for you to be rich. <laughs> It's <laughs> time, time. Two of swords. This is the crossroads. This is you deciding to let it go or not to. Spirit has been hiding some information from you too as well. There are things going on that are bigger than you. You see the birds in the sky there and they are literally holding the blindfold over her eyes. So um, in the tarot, spirit is always represented by birds. And the birds, the spirit are holding things back from you. They're having these things deliberately withheld from you. It really feels bad in your mind space right now to have, not have all this information, to have all these questions and no answers. So I think that's what this cycle might be ending here after this full moon in Pisces here. When you're coming out of this full moon energy, it takes a little time to gain momentum toward that new moon here. But I think that is what you are releasing here is... Um, you don't know the whole thing. There's things going on that are bigger than you and spirit has greater plans. And I think you're just maybe starting to come into understanding that you're at least at a crossroads with feeling that way, with feeling your way into some happier, more joyful times for yourself, understanding that when you're sitting in this kind of energy, the universe just keeps bringing you this kind of energy because um, it's the law of attraction in play. But when you shift your thoughts into what could be, into some possibilities here, into some hope for um, something uh, bigger than yourself going on here when you're, you get your um, hope for that back, that changes everything for you. And it shifts you into this 10 of cups, two of cups energy. It shifts you into this independence and um, solidness within yourself, counting on yourself now, counting on your being very, very self-reliant here. So that is absolutely beautiful. Eight of wands, very fast, fast moving energy. So you're not sitting in this decision making very long, especially since I only see it in the first line here, which kind of represents past energies for me. You're moving into this new way very, very quickly. You're making very subtle changes out of it. Maybe you're not noticing. It's not like this, you know, come to Jesus moment, but you're finding very, very subtle ways to change your thoughts, to change your life here, to change your perspective on what life is bringing you and the joys and happiness and partnerships and um, fun that's ahead of you, you know, the, the feeling of being connected to other people, the feeling of being a part of a unit, a part of a family here, a part of nothing can break us apart here, you know, we're coming out of some really strong divisive times. So that's just taking a minute to get our footing on that. Seven of Wands, look at you though. You went introspective. You went inside to find that happiness. You put yourself in a bubble. You isolated yourself for a minute to find this independence, to find this stability on your own now, on your own now. You know, you're like, I got to do this. I don't have any other choice. I'm still here. I'm still going to grasp life and take it where I want it to go. I'm going to see the rainbows now. I'm just going to wait out those storms, wait out those harsh times. And I'm going to wait for that rainbow to come out because I know it will. I know it will. It has my entire life. <laughs> the only constant in life is change. And this too shall pass. And so you just kept telling yourself that. Beautiful, beautiful. And then things started happening that you never thought possible. Money started coming in in ways that you didn't think possible, that you really were starting to give up hope on, that it was probably a creative project or something that um, 
you had put out there or something that you had thought was going to go one way and it went another way and that was those were those expectations when it comes to money and where where you thought you would be or what you thought would make you income here and it's just going to really surprise you you see the pig flying there it's like you were well, yeah when pigs fly i'll be able to make money doing that and here it comes for you and a lot of pentacles are coming for you here so and look at this, look at this, the world, the world, the absolute end of that cycle. You are done with that, Pisces. You are done with this. You're no longer going to be feeling in the dark or feeling like you don't have all the pieces of the puzzle or feeling like you've been left out of something while everyone else has been privy to something. And you're not going to be feeling like that anymore. You're going to be feeling much more like you're a part of a family, like you're a part of this, like you're connected back to humanity. You're connected back to the people around you, re-plugged in, reconnected here. And that's going to make you feel really, really good. And it's going to bring you in money. All right. What's at the foundation of this for Pisces? the foundation of this for Pisces. Oh, the King of Wands, the Ancestral Guidance card. That is absolutely beautiful. So there is someone that has passed over. A masculine energy doesn't mean they were a, a male or female here. It's just a masculine energy that has passed on and really has your back, is really lighting the way for you, is with you at all times, always watching over you. It's like you're their soul. Um, mission and they are always watching over you and always there for you so that's just absolutely beautiful look at the four of cups this is you looking at what has been lost you just could not see what was being gained here spirit was withholding this information you were looking the other way you weren't seeing you were just simply seeing what was lost here or what didn't work out that's what i'm feeling here it was more like well that didn't work you know and you just didn't know what else to do you had tried three different things here and they were all came up you know empty and and disappointing and unfulfilling and so you just need to turn your head you just need to turn your head there's that rainbow that you're waiting for up here in your mind space there it is it's being filled spirit is giving you all of the gifts that you so dearly deserve now and of abundance and you're just not seeing it yet but boy you absolutely will because it's sitting under the eight of wands and that's very fast moving energy so as soon as you go inside and as soon as you release some of these questions just release some of the questions that you're never going to get answers for and let that go and move into this new kind of new day new cycle absolutely uh, you're going to turn around and see this rainbow here you're going to see this joy and happiness over here that's been waiting for you and it's going to make you feel so good this independence look at what this independence brings to you it's you standing on your own you claiming your life. This is Pisces claiming their life. This is my life to have. This is my experience to have. I love you all. I wish you all well, but I've got to be me. And I'm gonna, you're just gonna stand on this stage and just be yourself completely. And what's gonna happen is people are going to unconditionally love you because they see you. They see you for the first time in a very long time. It's Pisces is being revealed to the world. And it's like, here I am love me or hate me i don't care and you really don't <laughs> look at this with the devil energy coming out but it for some reason it came out in the reverse i'm going to leave it in the reverse because i think you are releasing that devil energy you're releasing that darkness you're releasing what was holding you back what had you in uh, chains here what really tethered you to this earth it was like you were too tethered to the earth you couldn't get into your imagination you couldn't get tap into that infinite creativity that is so you pisces you're so creative it's like i i can't feel it though my muse is gone you know you were feeling like and it wasn't paying off and it wasn't working and that didn't work and i prayed for this and that didn't happen so i don't even believe in that anymore and you just were really, really, really giving up. You just were on the brink of giving up. And then something really happened. Something shifted here. I'm going to get some clarification on what came into you, where you started gaining some independence from that heartbreak. You started pulling yourself away from that heartbreak and letting it go a little bit and easing your mind in ways that you just really didn't think possible with the Page of Cups here. And boy, it helped you. It helped you so much to walk away from those emotions and to walk away from it all and walk toward the sun, walk toward the new day. It's just like, well, that didn't work. I put all that work into it. I, I've been here, you know, stranded on this island eight years and I built this fire and screw it. I'm going to go find something else to do here. I can't just sit here and pray for this fire to grow, to get bigger. I'm going to try for something new here. I'm trying, I'm going for a new fire here, going for a new fire. Love that. 
All right, what kind of energy is coming into Pisces? What is this? Three of Swords and Six of Cups. Three of Pentacles and Three of Cups. Three, three, three. That is really, really amazing here. That must mean something to you. You've got a three, three, three message here. And that's very spiritual. That is very significant here. So three, three, three must mean a lot to you. It must be coming into your environment lately. You must see it on the clock or you're seeing it in, in very odd places, three, three, three. But it's absolutely a sign from spirit that we are here with you. You are getting what you wish for. You're getting what you prayed for. Wishes come true here. This is amazing. I, I really did not see that coming when I saw that three of swords. I thought you were just sitting in pure heartbreak and I was feeling really like, oh God, how can we ship this? And now I see it was a code. It was a message from spirit. Pay attention, Pisces. Pay attention to 333. There's something in there. So pay attention to it, but don't just focus on the 333. What are you doing when you see that on the clock? What are you doing when you see that on a piece of paper? Don't just focus on the numbers. What is it you're saying? What is it you're doing? Spirit wants you to pay really, really close attention to that, it, uh, what you're doing in that moment, in that second. Oh, man, that's a message straight to Pisces, right from spirit, right from spirit. That's a message to you. Pay attention, pay attention. <laughs> Seven of Wands, look at these boundaries that you have created when it comes to letting yourself just be free and be open. Um, people are seeing this. They're seeing these walls around you. It's very hard to get in. They're saying this. Uh, people are saying this about you. It's hard to get into Pisces. Why can't I get in? Why won't you let me in? And, and uh, they're feeling like you push them out. But you're ready to let anyone in. You want to feel this happiness and connection again. So um, that's going to make them very happy because they want in. They want in. They want to break through those walls of yours and be in this partnership with you and merge energies. You know, that could be a friendship. That could be a... Uh, um, a uh, uh, parent child relationship too. It's just somebody felt disconnected with you and now you're just coming together and feeling very connected again. So uh, that's beautiful. That's very, very beautiful that you're allowing that, that uh, relationship to flourish like that. Absolutely beautiful. Two of cups. Yeah, you are, you are absolutely letting this relationship flourish and you're reconnecting, you're reconnecting with someone here and you're, you're sharing yourself, you're sharing your stories, you're sharing your angst with them. And that's really um, helping them feel closer to you. They want to feel closer to you and um, they want to be uh, with you, with these, with you being vulnerable. They want you to be vulnerable with them again. And that's, that's beautiful. What about the seven of wands? Ooh, the star energy. This is that healing. So they are bringing a lot of healing to you, this person who wants to, um, be around you. They just like being around you. They, you make them feel really, really good and they don't feel so outside anymore. They don't, they feel very included in your life now. And so they're very grateful for you and they love being around you and, and you're really special to them. You really, really are, but they bring you healing. You, you really um, like that about them. They just make you laugh and bring you a lot of healing with that Aquarius energy. Page of Wands on this new cycle offers, offers, inspired action offers too. Will you be creative for me? Will you create this for me? A lot of um, offers about what you can offer to, to others through your creativity and people wanting to, um, wanting more of it, wanting you to create certain things for them to, for them to sell and, and to make a part of their businesses. So you are really getting offers to um, show your creativity here, show your, um, your, uh, your skills, show your skills here, Pisces. You're very skilled. And I feel like it's at writing for some reason. I feel like you're a really, really good writer and you should focus down all of this into writing and getting it out. Even if that's speaking into a recorder or something, I feel like you really are a good, good author, a very well, a very well rounded writer. And you can write about some of this stuff that you've learned. So, wow, that's beautiful. That's just a little side message. Pay attention to that 333 when it comes to writing or being creative, expressing yourself through um, writing. The moon, look at this. There's your energy coming out. And uh, yeah, people want in. People really uh, want in. There's some there's some confusion there when it comes to you. They, they want in. They don't know how to do that right now. They don't know how to have you open up and be vulnerable to them. But there's something that you're going to see when it comes to the 333 thing that's going to open up your heart a little bit and take you out of this bubble that you've created around yourself a little bit. You're going to really allow yourself to be vulnerable with them. And that's really amazing. That's beautiful. It's so beautiful because that connection is just going to grow so, so strong. Oh my God, look at this with the Six of Cups. Yeah. 
they want to be with you. They want to share their life with you. They want to share, they want to have a family with you with the 10 of cups up here. They want to, or just be the perfect, you know, like I said, this could even be a sibling relationship or a, um, it's just a very, very sweet, sweet, sweet connection that brings you a lot of joy and a lot of peace and a lot of laughter and a lot of fun and a lot of rainbows and maybe some money with these pentacles on the board, but absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Devil in reverse, just letting go, letting go of those, of those, um, expectations. I think that's what the devil was expressing here in the foundation was your expectations of where you would be right now. And you just reconciling that and going for this absolutely bright, beautiful future of yours and living much, much more in the moment and in the now and people really seeing you and um, wanting to be around you. Oh God, so beautiful. But you're about to explode some spiritual information here too. So, so just please let me know about that 333 if that means anything to you. Okay. All right. I'm going to end this here. Look at the Queen of Swords on the bottom of the deck. This is beautiful. You found your your way here, your words here. Your your sword is up. You're guarded. You're protected. You're uh, very divinely protected with this spirit here with the King of Wands. But um, yeah, this is your, your beautiful energy right now. Really, really beautiful energy right now. Pisces, abundance is yours right now. Money is yours right now. Make your wishes. Make your wishes. If you, if you happen to, I don't think I'll release it before tomorrow, but um, make your wishes and, and wish on those stars because they're going, it's, it's your turn. It's your turn. It's your time. Yes. Okay. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe button. If you'd like a personal reading from me, my email address is in the description box below. And I hope you have a fantastical week. I will definitely tune in soon with you.